The big story we're currently tracking, Congress's three-day Chintan Shivir has begun. An age bar for party posts and a one-family, one-ticket rule with a loophole that exempts the Gandhis, among others, is on the Congress's agenda as it begins this three-day Chintan Shivir. It's on in Udaipur at the moment. Around 400 leaders, including Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, are attending this meet in the aftermath of the party's five-state loss in recent elections. Big changes are in store, said Congress leader Ajay Markin. The Congress says there was unanimity on bringing back the one-family, one-ticket rule, which bars more than one person from a family from contesting elections, but hinted in advance that the Gandhis would be spared. Now, amid attempts by the Congress to reboot ahead of the crucial polls, the party is also considering a plan to reserve half the party positions at every level in the Congress for those below 50 years of age. And meanwhile, in her opening address, Sonia Gandhi says the Congress party is aware of its failings and the Congress party needs to put personal interests aside. It has become abundantly and most painfully clear what Prime Minister Modi and his colleagues really mean by their frequently repeated slogan, maximum governance, minimum government. It means keeping the country in a state of permanent polarization, compelling people to live in a constant state of fear and insecurity. It means viciously targeting, victimizing, and often brutalizing minorities who are an integral part of our society. Hame sudaro ki sakt zarurat hai. Vranniti mein badlaab, dachagat sudhar, aur rozana kam karne ke tarike mein parivartan. एक तरह से यह सबसे बुनियादी मुद्दा है लेकिन मैं यह भी जोर देकर कहना चाहती हूं कि हमारा पूर्ण उत्थान सिर्फ विशाल सामूहिक प्रयासों से ही हो पाएगा एक नई शुरुआत देशी राजनीति होने जा रही है ऐसे वक्त में जब कोई नहीं जानता कि देश किस दिशा में जा रहा है और किस दिशा में जाएगा क्या संविधान की धज्जियां उड़ रही हो लोकतंत्र खतरे में हो जुड़ी से दबाव में हो छीवीआई इनकम टैक्स ईडी का दुरुपयोग हो रहा हो क्या नहीं हो रहा है कोई सुनने वाला नहीं कोई समझने वाला नहीं राजस्थान तो टारगेट नंबर वन अब कांग्रेस मुक्त भारत में ला देंगे मैं कई बार कहता हूं कांग्रेस मुक्त तो कभी होगी नहीं राइट सुनील प्रभु जॉइनिंग अस फ्रॉम उदयपुर विद द लेटेस्ट अपडेट सुनील आई एम क्यूरियस मिस्टर गहलोत सेज दिस इज अ न्यू बिगिनिंग फॉर द पॉलिटिकल फ्यूचर ऑफ द कंट्री नाउ गिव अस अ पर्सपेक्टिव आर दीस प्रिटी वर्ड्स और डू यू सी अ स्ट्रांग कन्विक्शन दिस टाइम अराउंड वेल इट्स अ मेक अ ब्रेक फॉर द कांग्रेस पार्टी इन टर्म्स ऑफ हाउ it wants to go forward so definitely uh, as mrs gandhi herself has used uh, very strong words to say it can't be business as usual in the in the context of saying that we need to change uh, and uh, we need to go back uh, uh, when uh, in the present uh, system in, in, uh, of the party can't function the way it is it's a very categorical statement that uh, uh, they will definitely make uh, certain uh, changes on a time bound manner with deliverables this is going to be the big difference this time in the uh, brainstorming session uh, that there will be a time bound manner uh, and uh, really action oriented in terms of internal uh, to show that uh, uh, people from uh, below uh, 50 years of age at least 50% of the posts are elected and uh, part for example the congress working committee uh, these are some things which are going to be uh, definitely reflected uh, in the resolution in the udaipur declaration which will come out Uh, apart from of course the one family one ticket uh, which we have talk, uh, talked about uh, these are uh, some of the many proposals that have been uh, uh, talked about and i think uh, though 
they will be political, they will be economic, as Mrs. Gandhi and others have been reflecting on. Uh, the focus is on organization. Unless, as Mr. Karge, uh, when I asked him a specific question about alliances, said, unless we have are strong, how can we invest in somebody else? Who will come to invest with us? That is the big point. So uh, they will definitely look at alliances against the politics of hatred and everything else. But their focus uh, today is to ensure that uh, at least the youth of India uh, see uh, Congress Party as a destination, that members of parliament, uh, as well as uh, those in the working committee, as well as in the district and in the state level, are below 50 years of age uh, and in most predominant positions. Uh, there is a cooling off period of only five years uh, so that uh, uh, people rotate uh, and, uh, and there are new uh, changes that take place. So it's in that backdrop uh, that uh, the Congress party is meeting and uh, I, I would expect uh, definitely uh, on Sunday a time-bound uh, suggestions that will be coming in terms of how they want to go forward uh, and representing the youth. Right, Sunil, thank you so much for joining us with those details. To provide further clarity into the matter and also for insight, we have Charan Singh Sapra joining us, who's a Congress spokesperson. He joins us on the phone line at the moment. Mr. Sapra, I want to begin by asking you, realistically, what do Congress leaders expect from this Chintan Shivir? See, number one, you know, we are discussing on six uh, resolution, like economic resolution, the political resolution, the uh, resolution on the international relations of uh, India, and also the organizational issues which we are having to strengthen our own organization and how to go about uh, uh, for the future elections. The elections uh, like uh, elections to Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh, and later on Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka. Uh, in coming one year, probably, there are six states which are going for uh, elections. So a complete strategy is being planned out uh, in this Chintan Shibir. Uh, revamping the party, giving more um, uh, opportunities to the younger generation and various other issues. And also the way uh, the Modi government is, you know, uh, wanting uh, to keep a permanent state of polarization in the country, like they had uh, spoken maximum governance and minimum government. And what do they mean by that? Does that mean that uh, the country should be in permanent state of polarization? The way the issues they have been taking since last six, seven months, the issue of hijab, halal, loudspeaker, Gyanwapi Mandir, Mathura Mosque, Kutub Minar, and um, roads in Delhi, which are named after Mughal. Like, they don't want to uh, concentrate on the real issues of the country. They don't want to concentrate on the dwindling economy, the inflation, unemployment, steep rise in prices of petrol, diesel, LPG, PNG, FMCG, or the essentials like wheat flour, rice, cereals, vegetables, clothes, cement, steel, prices, taxes on, uh, you know, Ola, Uber also. They just want to vitiate the situation by indulging into hate speeches, enmity between the groups. You know, the concept of unity, unity in diversity has been completely demolished under the BJP rule. So this is what we are trying to, you know, assess and trying to find a counter to all these things which are happening in the country. Pick up on the fact that organizational issues seems to be a recurring issue highlighted by your own party members. Yeah. Now you think Congress leaders hope this huddle in Udaipur will set a clear narrative for the party in the run-up to the 2024 elections? Yeah, of course you will get a clearer picture by Sunday. Today is the first day. And uh, this shiver has just started at 10 a.m. And uh, uh, maybe by Sunday you will get a clearer picture about the insight to what uh, type of organization uh, we'll be having it ahead, how we are going to revamp the organization right from top to the uh, grassroots level. And even the party, uh, the election process is on. Our membership drive is over. Now the elections to the block presidents and the PCC members are going on. So this continuous process of election, which will also culminate uh, by August, September. So the entire thing, uh, I feel there is a deliberation and by Sunday, picture will be much clearer. Right, here's hoping Sunday brings good news for you and a strengthened opposition for the rest of the country. Meanwhile, we also have Mahesh Varma, leader BJP, joining us on the broadcast. Mr. Varma, Mr. Gelot says this is the new beginning for the political future of the country. Do you think these are pretty words or do you believe, Mr. Gelot? Do you think you're going to have a tough competition coming up? 
दोनों ये गहलोत जी का इस तरह की बात रखना और उसके बियॉन्ड अगर आप जाकर देखिए तो आप राजस्थान का भी जिस तरह से वहाँ जो घटना घटी है उसके ऊपर से जिस तरह से हाईकमान मौन रहा है जिस तरह से एक संदेश पूरे देश में गहलोत सरकार के द्वारा दिया जा रहा है जिस तरह से वहाँ क्रमिनल वायलेशन हुआ या करौली हुआ मेल हुआ उसके बाद जोधपुर और अभी लगातार उसको वहाँ पे प्रक्रय भी दिया जा रहा है तो इस चिंतन फिगर में ये स्पष्ट करना चाहिए कांग्रेस को और कांग्रेस अध्यक्षा को कि आखिर उनको उनकी जिम्मेवारी इस देश में इस पार्टी की जो है देश के प्रति और देशवासियों के प्रति जिम्मेवारी क्या यही है जो अभी राजस्थान में कराई जा रही है गहलोत सरकार द्वारा क्या यही इसी तरह का संदेश दिया जाएगा क्या इसी तरह से अब पंजाब में चूंकि अब सत्ता में नहीं है इसलिए आतंकवाद पे खामोश हो जाएंगे क्या इसी प्रकार से पश्चिम बंगाल में जो हो रहा है जहाँ पे लगातार मतलब वहाँ पे सारी हैवानियत जो है पार कर चुकी है सरकार वहाँ की वहाँ पे इनके लीडर विपक्ष के लीडर जो है अधीर रंजन ममता बनर्जी के भ्रष्टाचार से कोर्ट में चुनाव लड़ रहे हैं वो कोर्ट में केस लड़ रहे हैं और पी चिदम्बरम साहब जो है ममता बनर्जी के समर्थन में खड़े हुए हैं कोर्ट में तो ये तय ये पहले स्पष्ट होना चाहिए देश को अगर आप चिंतन शिविर कर रही हैं आप कुछ भी कर रही हैं और सवाल ये है कि आप नेतृत्व तो बचाने की बात है व्यक्तित्व तो सवारने की बात है या कांग्रेस की अस्तित्व की बात है बहुत अस्पष्टता के साथ बात रखनी चाहिए इतनी बात से मुख्यमंत्री जी की इतनी ही बात से इस देश में कांग्रेस का चाल चेहरा और चरित्र स्थापित नहीं किया गया Charan Singh Sapra and Mahesh Verma, thank you so much for sparing time for us. We'll wait and see on Sunday what this Chintan Shivir resolves and the Congress's agenda for the 2024 elections.